Hi everyone, thank you for coming to my art space today and welcome to uh, episode 20. So today I was thinking what we could do is I want to try to get rid of these scraps. I sort of randomly, well, sort of put them in order. Uh, random and order doesn't go together, I'm sorry. Just some form of order. I want to try to get rid of these scraps here. Uh, and so I thought what we could do is to do a master board. And usually I would use uh, some form of cardboard. Uh, in the previous videos, if you've seen some of my video, in fact, the last one, I did mention about uh, using index cards. But today, uh, for this uh, for this particular uh, book, uh, or rather journal that we're working on with the magazine, because look at how fat it's getting, right? Like, I don't really want to add card on it. So I decided to use some book pages, and I'm just going to collage um, my um, master board. So it's basically going to consist of all these random bits and pieces and we're just going to build a collage uh, for this page. So basically I've used just a book page. Uh, the book page, these, this one in particular uh, came from uh, a dictionary. Let me just show you. This is a dictionary that I purchased from the uh, thrift shop and it is handy to, um, I've used this several times and there's still a lot more which, you know, is available for me to use. Uh, I think it was only a dollar. So do check them out uh, in the thrift shop or the op shop uh, because it's handy to uh, use them as uh, uh, background or whatever so so let's start here with the master board what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, cover this page with glue and I'm just going to use these um, pieces I might use some of these use them up uh, and just try to cover the entire uh, page with a collage and I'm just going to do random colors uh, and we can see how they work out because sometimes you you look at look you look at the pieces and you think oh uh, what am I gonna how am I gonna you know use that but as you build your collage you'll find that um, so I'm gonna use even this which is uh, words um, we'll just layer it and see where it takes us no stress no um, no worries and it'll be interesting to look at this page and find little bits and pieces that that we've used in the magazine I'd be interested to know if you have built a collage before, like this, or rather a master board. Um, do you, how do you use your scraps? And I guess this is a, the issue when you have, um, what's the word? Um, when you start junk journaling, you have all these leftover things. What do you do with them, right? So... This is a good way. I want to keep this extreme lettering there because I might use that at some stage. If you are just new and you're wondering what to, how to start and what kind of books should you be getting at the thrift shop, I do have a video um, showing you what are some of the things that you could be looking out for because um, if you get a bargain um, like the map book that I had for example um, you once you purchase something like that you know you're kind of set you've got your stash and you could use that for other things 
not just um, one project but many many projects I'm going to use some of this black stuff as well for a nice contrast. Some of this blue. I think if you have the pieces quite small, um, you'll find that um, it gives you a nice pattern. And I prefer the, the, um, ripped look. It's, it's coming along. So I found this, which is a small uh, picture of the actual magazine that I've been using. I'm going to put it in this corner because it'd be fun to look at this page and, and remember the cover of the magazine. I'm going to put some of this pink in as well. Um, trying to balance out maybe the black. thinking of using I might use this one here uh, and actually have the I like the lettering using a little bit of the lettering and then you can see that and actually it doesn't matter I'm going to leave that as well because it gives a bit of interest of that book page look um, what else might I use we could use some of these circles. Yep. So, you know, again, using different shapes. I might put this one here in the corner just for different interest. Um, might just see what else I can put down here, just in the corner. Yeah, I don't like the straight edges so much, so I'm just gonna leave that there like that. Um, and maybe just a little bit of black down here. So it 
gives it giving it the patchwork look I think I'm happy with that I'm going to do the other one and and then we'll finish it off okay I'm progressing just wanted to show this piece this I don't know if you can see that it's got ridges here now that actually came from a packaging a cutlery packaging you know the top ridge when you where you tear open at the top uh, that's what it is and um, I have um, saved them because they provide extra texture uh, to some of your collages and um, uh, it's um, it's good to add extra texture because um, it creates interest for your uh, collage. So if if you are new and you're wondering, you know what to save, uh, I have a or how to um, start your junk journal and what what kind of things should you be collecting. I have a um, video you can check it out. Some of the things, and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money to start junk journaling, especially if you start this way. You may think that you like to purchase some things, which I do, but um, in order to build confidence, it's always great to... Oh, that's my... Um, that's my pressure cooker. Do you have a pressure cooker? I love my pressure cooker. It, um, it is so easy. I'm just cooking my puppy's chicken in there. And um, it's very handy if you haven't got one. Um, uh, it makes good curries, I tell you. Um, when you um, just chop your chicken and put it all in and, and um, put your veggies in press and I have a paste that I use and put it through and uh, 45 minutes later it's all ready it's uh, so it's coming together it's actually this way I'm thinking whether to add a few more bits and pieces uh, maybe some red Maybe a few more of these. One there and one there. I'm just using a normal glue stick, a cheap one, because when you start junk journaling, you go through quite a lot of glue, and I'm okay for just this exercise not to spend too much on my supplies because it, it can easily get you know you can easily get carried away with it all right i think i'm happy with that so what i thought then uh, to do so that's my my other one and I found this saying here which I think I'm gonna put it on there like that and this one is gonna go here let me go and get my I think I'll, f I'll, I'll put a couple of um, um, clips on here too. So when you're working with a fat book like this, you may want to consider getting one of these clips because when they, it starts getting fat, you may want to just... Um, um, Pull the pages down while you're like gluing like this. Okay, so let's 
going to go in there and I'm going to put this one here. How true is that? My mind always has more new projects designed than I could ever make in a lifetime. I think that sounds like me. I've got ideas, but you know, sometimes you just have not enough time. Let's put a little bit more glue here. There we go. And I was going to put maybe best of the best. Yep, I think that's nice and simple. Oops. So these words were from the magazine. Best of the best. That's just nice and simple, but I want to show you another trick with these. So these are my paper clips. Um, I got them here in a pack for probably two dollars or two dollars fifty at Kmart, and I think there's a hundred clips. I love these because they add a bit of interest and color, as you can see. And there's these other ones here too, which is the foldable clips from Kmart, and they were like two dollars or two dollars fifty. Uh, just lovely colors. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a bit of fabric. Right. Um, I'm going to see if that's going to... They're just scraps. And... I'm going to put that through there. Alright, I've um, put a dab of glue, that's Elma glue, just on there, on the back, and just press it down to hold it in. I don't know if this is going to do... I probably would have to um, tie it, which means that I need a longer, a longer piece of fabric. Hang on. I was hoping that that other one worked because I had that bit of scrap, you know, and I didn't want to have to cut another piece, which I have now. And I'm just going to tie a knot because that's, that's probably the best way for it to stay. Now you could just leave it like that if you you know if you if you wanted to like that or if you don't like that idea you can put a dab of glue so just here on the second one, the one behind, and I'm just gonna leave that here. And I will do the red one this fabric because I had a scrap and that's not going to work I'm just going to do it again with another uh, paper clip okay this time I made it a bit longer to see if it's any different right let's pull it tight and Make 
that the front because there's little hearts there. I wonder if, um, so I haven't tried this one yet. I wonder if you staple that, whether that actually works. It could. Let me see. I might just, no, I might just glue it this time because I was just thinking I don't want the stapler to drag on the paper. So here we go. Just a dab of glue. And what do you call them? Page markers? Right? And then what we can do now is that one and there we go the two page markers you can move them around obviously so that's all for today um hope to see you in the next video and take care guys bye